Well, Carol and Craig, quite simply, shooting kids may be changing minds. You talk to just about anyone on these Avondale streets, and they'll tell you the tide of no snitching here may be turning because you don't shoot babies and get a free pass. I've had to duck, and I'm 68 years old, and I live here, and I've had to duck in my own house, you know, and it's just sad. From her porch, Phyllis Minifield has had a front row seat to Avondale's ups and downs for years, but this, a four-year-old shot in the head. Don't use that trigger for target practice. Well, this one hurts. I know the bullets have no names, no eyes, no nothing. But when you're hitting babies, they don't even know they're here. Community activists tell Nine on Your Side they got Darnell Hicks's name from fed up residents at this rally. You gotta wake up. A possible turning point in the no snitch mentality. Little Darnie, as he was called, spent a lot of time at this building over at Children's Hospital. Prayers work. Yes. Prayers work. There's progress. Remarkable, really. Martasia Thomas has one eye open. She's moving her legs. Whenever y'all see that picture, please pray because it means a lot to her and to the whole family. But back on Blair Avenue, Phyllis Minifield watches other kids play, afraid for them. Two babies. Two. In one summer. In one summer, in one month. What's going to be next? This is a scary question. Minifield says her great-grandson is also four years old. She broke down a little bit in our, in our interview today. She says her entire neighborhood is heartbroken, even though almost none of them know this family. We're live in Avondale tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.